Okay, I was refurbing this um, Interceptor 101 amp. Um, you know, it's not in the greatest shape, um, but I finally got a toroid transformer for it. Actually, I had the toroid for a while, but that toroid cost me um, like 60 bucks. And I didn't know if I wanted to put 60 bucks in this thing. Um, I'm probably going to lose money on it. But anyway, since I had the toroid sitting and I didn't have anything else to put it in, um, the transformer originally that was in this was bad. Um, so I decided to, um, you know, make some room so I consolidated it and went ahead and put the toroid transformer I had in this amplifier. So. Um, hooked all the wiring up and checked my wiring and checked my voltages and thought everything was going to be good and um, one of the first things I do before I power the amp up is make sure I got feed through watts and all feed through watts is you hook up your you know coax in and out like you're supposed to and you just key it down and we're on this watt meter here with the dummy load and the watts come through so I'm doing two watts from the mud duck radio and I got that um, digital watt meter on top of the radio there they're saying I got a 1.3 SWR and 3.75 watts over here and two watts is actually reaching the radio but you know the watts go through the uh, radio the watt meter the um, preamp couple switch boxes the amp then out to the watt meter and then to the dummy load so that's why I'm losing you know watts by the time it gets to the um, amp and the uh, watt meter over here but that's okay all good I got feed through watts right and like I say I already checked my voltages and everything so I'm like okay let's fire this thing up and um, so actually it's hot now it was on standby so we're gonna turn it on operate here and key it down it's gonna be pretty quick because this is what I got when I keyed it down. Come on, Mike. Where are you? All right. And nothing. No watts. That little jump is the um, relay. You know, when I originally key down, um, it's on feed through. And then, it, you know, the relay is jumping to um, operate. So that's why you see that little jump at the beginning of that but actually it's zero watts coming through this amp and I'm like you know I tried to tune and load right quick and I got nothing and also over here is an ammeter in line you know it's 118 volts at about uh, 0.3 amps and that's what it keyed down so it's not changing the amps so that's telling me that this amplifier is not pulling anything it's not drawing any uh, RF current and it's probably not getting any drive. Oh, one more thing. The main thing I wanted to show is with the amp on and no watts coming out, that's my input SWR 4.5. A lot of them will be higher than that, and that's with the amp on. So when I ask people about, you know, when they say their amp's not working, or especially when it's not doing anything. The first thing I ask them is what's your input SWR? Again, this watt meter here is in between the radio and the amp it's right you know the radio here goes right into the um, watt meter SWR meter there and I like it because it's digital but that's the input SWR that always reads and that's why I like using this little setup it tells me instantly you know my input SWR 4.5 that's really high I've seen worse like you know 9 10 or you know infinity they've been so high but um I'm like 4.5 it sounds like my watch is not going through and you know lo and behold if you can I can zoom in on it because this thing does have 900 volts on it I actually pulled that wire it was tucked in underneath so I guess the uh, that got broken off and what that goes to is the input of the tubes so basically um yeah, let's see if we can zoom out. That's the transmitter of the coax coming into the uh, amplifier. 
and then it goes through that orange um, cap there then it goes into the comment on the relay now when the relay is not keyed down you know in standby the um, receive or the transmit when it's not keyed down goes through that loop on the left side of the relay and then back out starting from left to right at the top that third one that's the common for the other side of the relay and it goes out into the coax there your output or antenna it says there so you know from the antenna to that third one through that loop and then uh, back around to the cap and in out that's a common arrangement for um, a amplifier if it has a receive amp it has a, a second relay for the receive amp instead of the loop it'll go through the uh, receive amp relay but anyway when it's keyed down the relay pulls in and instead of going through that loop on the outside it goes to the two uh, second terminals and as you can see that's broken off that's your input so let me see if I can get a uh, needle nose and stay away from this thing well I'm gonna turn it off to safety it's got heavy bleeder in it I mean we got it off too and we got a screwdriver well not a screwdriver a needle nose it's late so anyway that should be connected there and that'll be your um, input while it's going into the tube when it's keyed down and with that broken off I'm not getting any drive from the radio into the tubes and hence you know with nothing going into the tubes you get nothing out of it um, a very common problem with a um, lot of amps that aren't doing anything and the tubes aren't getting you know hot and it's not pulling any amps is you got the input somewhere not getting into the tubes a very dirty relay uh, caused that problem too and when you're dealing with 40 50 you know 60 euro amps uh, a lot of times the relay is uh, dirty carboned over and it'll cause that same problem so very common problem and I always ask people you know no watts at all check your input SWR alright that's it for this one hopefully soon we'll have it up and going and we'll make another video bye